problem number 4 from ng uh, projection of solid uh, here a solid is a pentagonal pyramid uh, dimension is given to you and it is raised with one of its sides of the base on the hp so that means it is resting on the hp with its side so in solid you have if the side is uh, if it is resting with its side then you have to draw side here so uh, the dimensions is 30 mm so you have to draw a 30 mm uh, line here then 108 degree from both the side to complete a uh, pentagon and 30 degree 30 mm here also measure an angle 108 from this direction also <coughs> and measure 30 mm here now measure the distance of 30 mm to find out the last corner put point here make an arc find out intersecting point So this point is my final point okay so I have completed my pentagon it is just two the things now this is the pentagonal pyramid so if it is a pyramid then from the top if you observing from the top you can see the center point of the pyramid also so to find out the center point you have to find out the midpoint of any two corners and draw a line like this any two you can take any two sides and joint it with the respective corner so no need to draw it just find out the center point so this is my center point so connect this center point connect this center point with each and every corners so this is how it looks like Joint it with the, all the corners. Okay. So this corner is let's say A, B, C, D and E. And this point is a O point because it's an apex point. Now transfer all the points on this XY line to draw the front view of your pyramid. This B and E must be passing from the same line and DC. So this is the base of your pyramid and height is already given to you which is 60 mm. So from the center, from the center of the pyramid which is from O, you have to measure this point you have to measure an, a distance of 60 mm so this is the axis actually so axis must be drawn by using chain line this is the corners you have to draw it
now give names to them so this point is o dash this point is a dash this is b dash e dash and c dash d dash now to find out the second position the pyramid rest with one of its side of the base on hp such that the triangular face containing that side is perpendicular to hp so they are talking about this uh, side uh, this side is right now it is resting on the side and the face containing this side so this is the face containing the side of cd it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to hp so right now it making some angle so we have to transfer this as a perpendicular line so first of all we have to measure this distance so this distance is around uh, 6.4 so draw a perpendicular line draw perpendicular line from xy and uh, 6.4 measure the 6.4 distance so this point is c dash d dash and this point is o dash now you have to draw this line so we have two methods the first one is you can measure this angle you can measure this angle and uh, draw a line at an angle here okay and another method which is very uh, easy you have to find out point a dash then measure this distance of with c dash d dash mark a uh, anywhere on the space like this then o dash to a dash measure o dash to a dash measure this distance this face then from o dash find out the intersecting points this is very easy so this point is a dash point now joint this a dash with c dash which gives you this edge joint o dash c dash and o dash a dash and complete the triangle but here two things is remaining which is axis and b dash e dash so measure this distance mark it on the line for this is b dash e dash and for axis also this is the for axis so this is perpendicular to xy line and the rest of the things is uh, draw depending on the this line now transfer all the points to find out intersecting points by using projection lines from each and every corners find out the intersecting points so this point is a dash a this is b C, D, E, and you have to find out O as well. So this point is O dash, and this is O. Join them with a solid line. A, B, C. D, D to E, and E to A, like this. Now uh, you have to join every corners with O. So you have to join with the O. D is already joined, so you just have to draw only two lines. in this position all the edges and all the corners are visible from the top like 
like this so this is the intermediate position in which the face is perpendicular to x y line now uh, it makes an angle of 30 degree with the vp so this line this dc this dc is making an angle of 30 degree with vp now in this there is a contradict statement the first one is you can see the base on hp such that the triangular face containing that side triangular face containing that side that means that this side is perpendicular to hp and makes an angle of 30 degree with the vp so in this case uh, they uh, the the uh, angle the 30 degree is not making an angle by the face it is the angle making by the side so this side is making an angle of 30 degree with the vp so if they uh, the statement is a little bit different like triangular face is making an angle of 30 degree so the, that uh, at that time you have to calculate the apparent angle but here the side is making an angle of 30 degree with the vp so right now it's perpendicular to hp perpendicular to vp so you have to make it uh, per a 30 degree inclination angle so you have to draw this shape over here at an angle of 30 degree so first of all measure 30 degree anywhere on the line Uh, we have a two to three methods like you, you can transfer this in a, this uh, dimension uh, di direction or you can draw it in a bow direction so or you can draw the 30 degree here also you can draw it anywhere so let's uh, draw a rectangle first so measure this rectangle okay measure this distance which is around uh, 4.8 uh, so put anywhere here and this is 4.8 so this line is this now draw perpendicular lines from this which is around uh, 4.6 4.6 draw a parallel line for 4.6 as well to complete a square Now you have to find out this uh, one line only first part which is this and put it here and make an arc. So this line. Now you have to find out three lines one, two and three over here. measure this distance to find out point B this distance transfer it here and this distance and this distance is also same so you got your point this point is a D point and this point is C point now you need a uh, center point so this distance is like this for the corner you have to measure it and draw lines see you don't need to draw a lines because uh, we need a d point and c points so we already got it so no need to draw a line right now so now this point is E point 
this is B and we need to find out A point so for that you have to draw a line from the center of this so this point is point A don't draw unnecessary lines if you got a point then you can construct a, a structure so no need to draw uh, lines which is not necessary in this case I avoid two to three lines because I need only points joint all of them with the center line also So this point is O point. Like this. So I transfer this here but at an angle of 30 degree now you have to project all the points and find out the intersecting point find out intersecting points so this point is a b c d and E this is O join them make sure about hidden lines okay so that is your exercise you have to imagine the things and draw uh, hidden lines here also there will be the hidden lines in the front view i will give you the exam uh, hint three hidden lines will be there so just find out that lines So this is the final position of uh, this pentagonal pyramid. This is the problem number four uh, from engineering projection of solid.